Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 6th, 1997, the Detroit Tigers are in Toronto for the Game 2 of their two-game set. So let's simulate the rest of these games here. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright. Well, 8-1 for the Indians over the Rangers. Rather eventful day in the American League, that's for sure, in terms of uh, runs scored. Yeah, it looks like they're all pretty pretty close games, aside from that uh, Indians-Rangers one, so yeah. Alright. Detroit Tigers at Toronto Blue Jays. Next up, for the Tigers, the center fielder, number 21. Right. Pitch speed, all-star. Bullpen. Eric Hansen versus Muller. And Muller is already. <coughs> Alrighty then. Take care of the lineup. And in batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Sean Green in left field, Joe Carter at first base, Carlos Delgado as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Carlos Garcia at second base, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Robert Perez in right field, and Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. Let's play ball. First up for the Tigers, Hunter. All right, let's go with the, uh, let's go with a slow slider up and in. Little slider down and in. It's a routine grounder. Out. Next up for the Tigers, the second baseman, number nine. Uh, let's go with the medium fastball down the middle. It's a routine grounder. Out. Next up. For the Tigers, the third baseman, number 24. Let's go with a medium slider up and in. It's a routine grounder. Oh, and I ran past it. <laughs> Base hit. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. <laughs> For the Tigers, the first baseman, number 17. All right. Let's go with the... Uh, Fast slider down and in. I am hoping at some point during the season we manage to get a no hitter going, but uh, yeah. Let's go with a medium slider down and away. I'm going to need to go to a game without completely messing something up, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go with a, fast, a slow fastball down and away. Ball two. Let's try that same pitch, but just a bit more over the plate. Just a little fastball, down and away. Ground ball to second baseman. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Otis Nixon. It's a routine grounder. Out! Now batting for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Ooh. Well placed changeup. Button are enough. For the Blue Jays, <laughs> first baseman, that one. number 29. That one was just straight up late. <laughs> Hit 
it's a long fly ball. Way back. Goodbye. I guess what is it? When is it gonna drop? <laughs> number twenty five. Home run number seventeen for Joe Carter, four hundred and ninety-five feet down the right field line. Carlos Delgado. Oh, I should have swung a bit earlier for that one. Those high 80s fastballs, I tell you. I think that might have been a curve. I guess I'd break a bit. And a well placed change up to strike him out. Next up for the Tigers, the left fielder, number four. All right, uh, let's go with a medium slider down the middle. Oh, Carlos Garcia fumbles it. Runner on first. Next up for the Tiger, the right fielder, number 30. All right, let's go with the uh, medium slider down and in. And he bunts it down the third base line. And not enough for double play. Now that the designated <coughs> Pardon me. number forty four. Right, let's try throwing the heat down the middle. And double play. Next up for the blue jay, the third baseman, number thirty three. Ooh, that was definitely a curve. Wow. He's just threading the needle on that strike zone. Number <laughs> 13. Oh. All right, Carlos Garcia. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ground ball the third. Next up for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Fly ball on the left field. Fly to the outfield. All-time leader in stolen bases a season. I'm just going to say Ricky Henderson. Oh, darn. That would have been my last choice. <laughs> Let's try a medium fastball down the middle. Let's try a slow slider down and away. Let's see if we can blow it by him. Up and in. Now that for the Tiger, the shortstop, number 14. And let's go the medium slider over the plate. Let's try a slow change up down and away. Let's see if we can get the fast. Well, eh. Yeah, let's throw the heat uh, on the inside part of the plate. A 
routine fly to the outfield. Now batting for the Tigers, the center fielder, number 21. Let's go with a slow slider over the plate. Let's try a slow change up down and in. And let's try throwing the heat up and in. Robert Perez. And a ground ball into center field. Oh, and the center fielder bump fumbles it. And okay, he's in the second. Now that for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Fly ball into left field, it drops it in, base hits all the way to the wall. One run's gonna score. They're throwing it home, and he's in the third for a triple. Now that for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. And ground ball the short. Beats the throw to first. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Runners on the corners. Let's send the runner. And he got there in time. Runners in scoring position. <laughs> I actually don't know if that would have been a wall or a strike if I hadn't swung. Ooh, full count. Oh, well done. Now that for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Third, let's see if we can score. Go, 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 go. And slides, and he's safe. <clears throat> Pardon me. The designated hitter, number 25. Oh, man, did I ever miss the time to, the prime time to swing at that. If it's good enough, no, right at the wall. Next up for the Tiger, the second paper, number nine. Let's go with a fast change up down the middle. Uh, let's try a slow fastball down and away.
Let's see if we can blow it by him up and in. Pops it up in the shallow left center. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next up, for the Tigers, the third baseman, number 24. Let's go with a fast slider over the plates. Oh, and Gonzalez fumbles it. Fortunately, it was only... Rowner only got to first. For the Tigers, the first baseman, number 17. Uh, let's go with a medium change up down the middle. Let's go with a slow fastball on the outside part of the plate. Round ball to the second baseman, throws to second, throws to first, double play. Now that for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Wow. <laughs> that was a foul ball for sure. And ground ball into right field. Yeah, Sprague, I don't think Sprague's hit, Sprague's hit a home run in a few a few games, but I guess he hasn't hit as many as uh, we're used to seeing him hit, but he's definitely still getting on base quite a bit. The first double play. Now that for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. It's interesting how some pitches, you know, after seeing so many of them, you just see them come out, just the trajectory they start to take from the pitcher's hand, you just instinctively know it's going to be a, a ball, just from, you know, just the way the ball flies kind of thing. But then there's pitches like that other one that was straight up a strike that's like, it kind of throws you for a loop kind of thing. Ends up breaking a bit more than you think and it ends up being a strike, so yeah. All right, Higgins, and all right. Let's go with the, let's go with this little slider over the plate. Round ball up the middle. Gonzalez throws to first. Next up for the Tigers, the right fielder, number thirty. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. Try a slow change up down and away. Let's try to blow it by him up and in. Oh boy. And it's off the wall. <laughs> and he stays at first. Get the feeling he was thinking it was a home run too. Number. Otherwise, he might have run a bit faster, but so. Let's go with a fast change up down the middle. And he bunts it down the first first base line. Just got the easier way out at first. Next up, for the Tigers, the catcher, number 10. Let's go with a slow fastball down the middle. Let's go with a slow slider down and away. Round ball to third. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17, Robert Perez. Ooh. 
Drives it in right field. One out. Next up for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. For the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Ooh. I think I swung a bit early, but I think that was actually far enough out of the strike zone that I don't think I would have hit it anyway. Now that for the Tiger. The shortstop, number 14. And let's go with a slow slider on the inside part of the plate. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Next up, for the Tiger, the center fielder, number 21. Let's try throwing the heat down the middle. It's a routine grounder. Out. Next up, for the Tigers, the second baseman, number nine. Yeah, let's go with a fast change up down the middle. Ooh, in the left field, base hit. Now batting, for the Tigers, the third baseman, number 24. Let's go with a slow slider down and away. Ooh, and a shallow left center. Ace hit. Next up, for the Tigers, the first baseman, number 17. Let's go with a slow fastball on the outside part of the plate. Yeesh, they're just hitting everything. And he flies out to the outfield. The pitcher for the Tiger, number 38. Who'd they bring in? Another ready. Lira. Alright. First up, Sean Green. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. It's a routine grounder. Oh, second baseman overruns it and goes all the way to the wall. Designated hitter, number 25. Carlos Delgado. <clears throat> Pardon me. And there's a splitter. <laughs> oh. Now batter for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. All right, let's get used to the splitter again. <laughs> Now 
foul batter for the Tigers, the left fielder, number four. Uh, let's start with a fast changeup down and in. Now batter for the Tigers, the right fielder, number 30. Yeah, let's throw the heat down the middle. They seem to be hitting it everywhere, so <laughs> it's like, uh, what do we pitch first? <laughs> let's go with a slow fastball down and away. I've not gotten very many strikeouts this game. Let's go with a slow slider up and in. Right, let's try a fast. Let's try throwing the heat up and in. Hey, we got one. Next up, the designated hitter, number forty-four. All right. Let's go with the medium fastball in the outside part of the plate. Let's go with a slow slider down and away. Let's try a fast change up, up and in. Next up for the Blue Jays. The second baseman, number 13. Ooh, drives it into center field all the way to the wall. And that's a stand-up double. Next up. Starting to think I should start sliding there, but it was too late. <laughs> number 18. It's closer than I thought it would be. And there's the splitter again. <laughs> now that I'm trying to think if I've ever seen the actual uh number seventeen. You know, what exactly happens with a splitter that to give it that drop and the break so you know so violently, so to speak. I think I've seen a curveball. And I think a slider is kind of the same thing, but... Ooh. I'm not sure if I've ever seen what a splitter looks like. What it does to the air. Whatever it does, it's pretty darn effective. <laughs> Next job for the Blue Jays. The short job, number eight. All right, let's go with a medium slider over the plate. Lifts it in a shallow left center. Drops it in all the way to the wall. It's at least a double. Oh, he's going for three. Darn, he's got three. For the Tiger, the shortstop, number 14. Good hustle. All right, let's go with a medium slider over the plates. Bordering on a little bit on the inside, but you know. And let's go with a slow fastball down and in. Let's try a fast changeup down and away. Oh, and he bunts it. He's trying to go f to get the run. And he got the run. Now that for the Tiger, the center fielder, number 21. That was actually a really good play, <laughs> if I do say so myself. All right, let's go with the uh, medium slider over the plate. Right 
I mean, they're, they're down, but they're not so down that they're completely blown out of the water and like that. It's, you know, later in the game, definitely a good time just to try and get some hits and get on base and create some scoring opportunities and all that stuff. So, yeah. They got one run. They only need two more to tie it up, so. All right, let's go with a fast slider over the plate. Runners going. Oh, no. Garcia glitched out. Runners at first and second. <laughs> now batting for the Tigers, the third paper, number 20. Uh, let's go with a medium slider over the plate. With a slow change up, down and in. And, oh, Gonzalez runs overruns it. Base is loaded. Now batting for the Tiger, the first base, number 17. Hmm. Oh, the fast slider over the plates. Oh, the slow slider down and in. See if we can get it by him up and in. Next up for the Tiger, the left fielder, number four. Oh boy, Higginson, primed for a grand slam. Um. <laughs> Uh Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Let's go with a um, slow slider. Okay, that's just a line drive into right field. <laughs> Alright. Now batting for the blue game. The center fielder. Number two. Actually, how's uh how's Eric doing? He's still got some left in him. Alright. I think, you know, I think I will start warming up uh, Crabtree anyway. Ground ball in the center field. Next up. Alright. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's bring in Tim Lin instead. I don't even know if we've actually managed to get him into the game yet. I mean, I know we've warmed him up, I think, a couple of times, but never got to bring him in. Two strikes, I had to swing at that one. Probably could have gone without swinging in that one, but... Oh! oh, oh. I was probably like a hand away from getting an infield hit there. Number 29. But... Three and one. Oh. Uh. I thought I was ready. And there's a splitter to strike me out. Now better. The designated hitter. Number 20. 
I gotta admit, I, I don't know if they're programmed to play, to pitch like that, like specific pitchers, but the pitching, the pitching AI in this game, considering, you know, when this game came out, it's actually pretty impressive. It's like, like, that strikeout, it literally felt like the way he just went straight back to the splitter after he got me to swing it there, got got the fastball by me. It's like, he, he thought, yeah, yeah, I got him off balance, let's throw the splitter again, and boom, got me, you know. Let's go with the heat down the middle. Definitely feels like something's going on behind the scenes kind of thing, so yeah, it's... Part of the reason why I guess I like this game so much. Oh boy. <laughs> right center, to the wall, for a single. Next up, the designated hitter, number 44. Uh, let's go with a uh, medium changeup down and away. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring in Timlin. <laughs> uh, well, he's probably ready by now, but hmm. Let's. Let's uh, give Hanson one more out, one more uh, batter here. Let's go with a fast slider down and away. And let's try to throw the heat volume up and in. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Next up for the Tiger, the catcher, number ten. All right, let's bring in Timlin. The pitcher for the Blue Jays, number 40. All right. Let's see what you got, Timlin. Let's start with a medium slider over the plate. He's got a good slider. <laughs> All right. Next up, let's try a slow fastball down and away. Yeah, down and away. Bunts it foul. And we'll see what the changeup can do. Let's do a fast changeup down and away. No idea what the changeup could do. Oh! They hit in a shallow right field. Now that for the Tiger, the shortstop, number 14. Uh, all right, let's go with the uh, medium slider on the inside part of the plate. Let's see what a slow fastball does down and in. 87 miles an hour. All right. Now let's try the fast changeup down and away again. Ground ball to second base. Throws to second. Throws the first double play to end the game. All right. So Detroit Tigers. One run on ten hits. One error. Oh, oops. RBI by Miller. Was it? I think that was probably one of my errors. Because it's not recording it, showing him as recording a hit. Uh, Travis Fryman went three for four, had a good day. Actually, mm, pardon me. Did they seriously not count Miller's hit as a uh, as a hit because it was a fielder's choice? I can't remember what happened on that play. Oh well. Maybe if I go back and watch it, I might be able to reveal that nugget of information. Clark Higginson, Trammell, and Miller did not record a hit, according to this, despite Miller getting the RBI. Mm, pardon me. And Johnson was the long run. Pitching. Moeller went five innings, struck out five, walked a zero, gave up one home run and three earned runs. Lyra came in for three innings, struck out two, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Moeller gets the loss, three and five record. For the Jays, three runs on eight hits, two errors. Still on base for Otis Nixon, went two for four. Joe Carter with a home run 
two RBIs, went two for three. Well, scored a run himself. Well, I guess technically that would be the home run, but it's <laughs> uh, RBI for Alex Gonzalez. Sean Green, Carlos Delgado, and Benito Santiago did not record hits. Pitching, Hanson went eight and a third, struck out five, zero walks, zero home runs, gave up one earned run. Mike Timlin, two thirds of an inning, zero strikeouts, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Eric Hansen gets the win, Mike Timlin gets a save. Oh, okay, so I guess I did bring him in. Did get him in at some point. Alrighty. Timlin up to two saves, so yeah. Alright, the league leaders for the American League. 12 stolen bases for Nixon, 7 for Alex Gonzalez, 5 for Vizcal. Delgado Sprague McGuire, leading's leading slugging percentage. Fifteen doubles for Manny Ramirez, fourteen for David Justice, and thirteen for Cirillo, Cordero, and Edmonds, respectively. Six triples apiece for Otis Nixon and Alex Gonzalez, four for Sean Green and Nomar Garcia Parra. And a bunch of players with three. <laughs> uh, five of them. It's uh, Carlos Garcia, Joe Carter, Robert Perez, Valentin, I guess that. Valentin, yeah. And Becker. Home runs. 24 home runs for McGuire. 21 for Sprague. 17 for Santiago. 17 for Carter. 45 RBIs for Carter. 44 for McGuire. 42 for Jim Tomey. 22 walks for Martinez from Seattle, Edgar Martinez. 34 runs for Jim Tomey, 30 for Grissom, 28 for Anderson. Alright, and pitching. Eric Hansen, 7 wins. With ERA of 1.463. Yeah, I don't think uh, Timlin has uh, played enough games to uh, or pitched enough innings to uh, get him on the uh, the list here. So let's move on. Fifty-eight strikeout strikeouts for Avery, fifty-seven for Cerro and Johnson, and fifty-five for Carl. Forty-eight strikeouts for Andy Pettit, thirty-four walks for Andy Pettit. Seven complete games for Juan Guzman, four for Eric Hansen. Five shutouts for Juan Guzman, four for Roger Clemens, two for Eric Hansen. Seven quality starts apiece. Seven quality starts for Randy Johnson as well. And for the National League, right, Barry Bonds still leading the batting average with 410. Flaherty and Grudzelanek behind him. Seven stolen bases for Young, six apiece for Clayton, Johnson, Jones, Bonds, and Sanders. Deion Sanders, that is. Rodriguez, Bonds, and Bagwell leading in slugging percentage. Twenty-one doubles for Blouser. Still uh, hasn't managed to add to his tally yet. But uh, you got Joiner and and Weiss or Vice for, with twelve apiece, and Rodriguez, Getranda, and Klesko with eleven apiece. Triples. Johnson has five. DeShields have four. Has four, and Clayton, Grudzelanek, Morandini, and Boone have three. Sixteen home runs for Rodriguez. Henry Rodriguez, 13 for Barry Bonds, 10 for Sammy Sosa. 
34 RBIs for Eric Henry Rodriguez, 29 for Gant, 23 for Barry Bonds. 22 walks for Lopez. Pitching. Six wins for Balecki, ERA of 0 0.439. Those zero ERAs are slowly disappearing, but the ERAs are definitely impressive all the way down that list. Wow, we have to go quite a ways before we can get to an ERA of two. Eight saves for Shaw. Sixty-five strikeouts for Schmidt, fifty-six apiece for Hampton and Smiley, and fifty-three for Morgan. Six complete games for Schmidt. One shutout. Three shutouts for Rap. Six quality starts for Rap. Eight quality starts for Shurik, and seven quality starts for Hamilton. Along with Schmidt in the six quality starts is Osborne, Tapani, Cormier, Rapp, Loiza, and Morgan. <laughs> mm, pardon me. Alrighty. And at the end of May 6th, 1997, the standings are as follows. In the AL West, Oakland leading 14 and 18, Seattle 13 and 18, Texas 12 and 19, and Anaheim 11 and 20. Central, Cleveland 24 and 8, Kansas City 16 and 15, Chicago 15 and 15, Minnesota 15 and 18, Milwaukee 11 and 20. East, Toronto 29 and 3, Baltimore 22 and 11, Detroit 16 and 16, New York 12 and 20, and Boston 12 and 21. And the NL West. Colorado 19 and 12, San Diego 16 and 14, San Francisco 14 and 17, Los Angeles 10 and 21, Central St. Louis 20 and 12, Cincinnati 18 and 15, Chicago 13 and 18, Pittsburgh 12 and 21, and Houston 10 and 22. East Atlanta 25 and 7, Montreal 18 and 13, New York 18 and 14. Florida 14 and 17, and Philadelphia 14 and 18. Next time on May 7th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are back on the road for an eight game road trip. Oh, nope, that's a seven game road trip. Nope, eight game. I was just looking, <laughs> I had it right the first time. Starting in Cleveland. We've been seeing some pretty impressive runs on their end, so this could be a good series, as short as it may be, at two games. So, yeah, well, well, I guess we'll have to see how it works out for us, or them, next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.